Hi guys, Raul from Simple Wi-Fi here and today I'm going to be talking to you about our new long-range Wi-Fi Yagis for both 2.4 and 5 GHz as well as a single band 5 GHz Yagi. Okay, so the first one we're going to be talking about today is the dual band Wi-Fi Yagi. We actually launched this about two years ago at DEF CON and since then we've been getting really great feedback. Uh, we're really pleased with the way that this has turned out for the community. Uh, we're basically alleviating a lot of pain points that a lot of uh, pen testers and a lot of also consumer people have had issues with and that's basically getting dual band Wi-Fi reception on a single feed line. Uh, and that, uh, that's also long range. So what this antenna does is it's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, that's the dual band aspect of it, on a single feed line at 14 dBi. So you're gonna be able to reach up to two miles away for both frequencies, enjoying the high speeds of 5 gigahertz and also the older networks, you're gonna be able to still use those on the 2.4 through a single feed line. So any router that's dual band capable or any USB that's dual band capable, you'll be able to plug this into an existing port you won't have to have two cables and two antennas where you needed that before to get the both dual band capabilities. Now you just have one antenna, both bands on one cable, very directional, very far reaching and so far we've been getting a really great response and we're happy with the way this turned out. So what's special about this antenna is it's actually two antennas in a single housing. It's 2.4 which is our older legacy model which is the longer version of it. That's what gets us the 17 uh, element spacing. Next to it, we put a basically a miniaturized version of that and that allows for the five gigahertz band. And we then took it one step further, separated that five gigahertz band into its own antenna. And you can see just uh, for comparison, how small this is uh, with the, whole, the dual band solution. And even though it's a lot smaller, you still pack a big punch 15 dBi on 5 gigahertz. So you're going to be able to reach as far as a 14 dBi dual band. And all that's happening here is we took out the 5 gigahertz part of our dual band Yagi and made it a single antenna. And this thing can move. So it is right now the record is a mile and a half with this by itself. And we were getting excellent speeds on the 802.11ac. Uh, we were doing this with a, an alpha ACH, but it'll work with any dual band uh, USB adapter and also any dual band routers and the best part is how small it is so it doesn't take up a lot of desk space uh, it's easy to carry around and uh, it thanks to the 5 gigahertz frequency frequency being much smaller than the 2.4 it allows for it to be a much smaller antenna Alright, so when you get your Yagi, uh, this is what you can expect. You're going to get a box uh, sort of like this uh, with inside either a clear or black Yagi, uh, depending on what color you choose. Uh, their single band 5 gigahertz Yagis only come in clear transparent uh, with a black element inside to give it some kind of contrast. But uh, for the larger dual band Yagis, you have a choice between a black tube or a clear tube. Uh, most people like to be able to either be stealthy and go with the black tube or they like to see the contents because it is really cool to look at. It uh, makes people say, hey, what is that? You know, kind of cool piece of furniture art, uh, seeing the uh, Yagi elements. You also get a tripod, which uh, I'm using on the stand right now, and a three foot uh, dual shield cable. So this is a pretty thin cable. I know I talk a lot about uh, going with the thickest cable possible, but because this is a short cable, you would call this a pigtail and in that case You can go with a thinner cable uh, But being the way that we are we also use a dual shield cable even for this short cable run So you're going to get optimal performance uh, Through your antenna even with a three-foot cable uh, The connectors are SMA male RP Which means that you can connect it to any USB adapter so here is an alpha ACH. I took the antenna off 
and I plug it right in. Uh, the same thing goes for routers with detachable antennas. Now, uh, I have to say this, sometimes people bring it up. This will not plug into an ethernet jack on your router. You need to have a coaxial connection where the antenna comes off. Uh, be very uh, careful to buy a router if you want to do a long range link that has detachable antennas. And for the single band Yagi, the 5 gigahertz one, it comes in a really small box, just like this, uh, with everything packed inside. The cable is already attached. Since this is a much shorter cable, uh, we went with an, uh, with an RG174, so it is, it's a little bit lossy, but we went shorter on it so that you still get a lot of great performance on it. So, like I said, very small, cute, uh, single band, dual band, longer, uh, longer 17 inches long 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, also worth noting uh, this is a directional antenna so since it's 14 dbi it correlates with about a 32 degree radiation cone so everything uh, looking in front of this antenna 32 degrees to the left and right you're going to see signal so it's very important to point this in the direction where you want to uh, grab a signal from if you're using a usb adapter or if you plug this into a router, you will send signal 32 degrees in the direction in which you point the antenna. So be very careful about uh, mounting and where you're, you're going to uh, aim this antenna for your intended use. Especially when you have some of the outdoor versions, uh, it's a little bit easier, but you still want clear line of sight to get those mile, mile and a half, two mile links. <laughs> If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment down below or send us an email at support at simplewifi.com. Please feel free to like and subscribe. we got more videos on the way. Thanks.